it speaks about the apostolic church. It is about three, three, uh, this is uh, uh, 300 AD, all right? Started from 30 AD to 300 Anu Domini, or 300 AD, 30 AD to 300 AD. It is the dispensation concerning about the period of the church of Ephesus. Because this church, all right, it represents the period or the dispensation or the time or the, the things that happen in the church but the lord you know chided this church pastor what do you mean when you talk about chided the word chided means the lord rebuked the church rebuked the church Nakita natin, look at in verse number two i know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how can not bear them which are evil, all right? They're against the false doctrine and the teaching because during the time, all right, it is, it is controlled by the Roman Empire, all right? It is controlled by the Roman Empire. And look at the religion of the Roman Empire. Their religion, all right, even if it's an empire, but their religion, they are people who are worshiping many gods, all right? They are worshiping many gods. It, many gods. It means it is a paganism. This is paganism. When you talk about the word paganism, this is a false doctrine. There is a false teaching, and these people are worshiping many gods. All right, which are evil, and thou hast strike them, which say they are apostles and are not, and has found them liars. Look at in verse number three. And has born and has patience for my name's sake, has labor. Look at the preaching of the gospel. Since Jesus Christ, you know, since Jesus Christ uh, commissioned this church to go into all the world and preach the gospel. The Bible tells us, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Ito ang mandate ng Panginoon. That's the reason why last week, magkita natin, concerning about the book of Acts, the preaching of the apostles, the preaching of the disciples, going out through all the world and preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya magkita natin dito in verse number 3, And has borne and has patience for my name's sake, has labored and has not fainted. They never stop doing the things for the Lord. This dispensation, all right, all right, this period is about 30 AD to 300 AD. The church of Ephesus represent this church concerning about the apostolic age, the preaching of the word of God. They spread abroad and preach the gospel. They fainted not preaching the gospel of Christ. Look at in verse number four. Nevertheless, may nakita ang Panginoon sa kanila. Nevertheless, I am somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. The word thy, T-H-Y, in King James Version, okay, from the original text, and thy, the English version, is you. You. Ang tawag dito, kaya masabi mo, ano yung thy? Pero thy, kung hindi, Ang thy dyan, alright, it speaks about, you know, you. Okay, ayan. You forget your first love. Jesus commanded them for their endurance, their endurance and their long suffering and their dislike of false doctrine and evil behavior during the time. He chided them, however. He rebuked, all right? He rebuked them. Pinagalitan sila ng Panginoon. You are so busy of doing things for me, but you left your first love. What does it mean? Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. They are so very eager, you know. They are so diligent of doing the task for the Lord because this is their task, because this is their commission. This is what the Lord mandated for them to go and preach the gospel. They have their business. They have all these things, you know, preaching the word of God. But there is no such thing as love in their hearts doing the task that, that God given to them. Wala na po yung pag-ibig sa kanila. Wala na pag-ibig sa kanilang puso. Kaya makikita natin dito ang sabi ng Panginoon sa kanila. Because thou hast left 
thy first love. Question. Kamusta ang first love mo? Yung iniisip mo, pag first love mo, yung first love ko ng elementary, yung first love ko ng high school, yung first love ko ng college ako, yun pang first love mo? Yung boyfriend ko, first love? Hindi. You left thy first love. It is the Lord ang iyong pag-ibig sa Panginoon. Because of that, they are doing these things because this is their past. They are doing these this things because this is a commandment for them. They are doing these things because this is what commissioned for them to do and preach the gospel. But the question is this, where is the love? Saan ang pag-ibig sa Panginoon? I remain. You are doing the task possible in church. You know, you, you are a deacon possible. You're doing this. You're serving because this is your task. If you are a leader, you are doing these things because this is your task. You are in the choir because this is your task. You give in the offering because you know this is your responsibility as a member. You are doing these things because, because, because. The question is, where is your love? Saan ang pag-ibig? May pag-ibig ba ba sa puso natin? Kasi ang inahanap ng Panginoon sa period na ito, saan ang kanilang pag-ibig sa Diyos? Saan ang kanilang pagmamahal sa Panginoon? They are doing the task, but the love is not there. Ginagawa minsan natin ang gawain ng Panginoon, the application of the text in our personal life, we as the believers of Jesus Christ, ginagawa natin ang ating responsibility, we are doing the task, we are sharing the gospel, we are in the choir, we are on the responsibility, if you are in your position, but the question is, where is the love in your heart to the Lord? Ginagawa natin yan kasi responsibility. Gawin ko to, dahil responsibility that go Ang tanong dito, yes, these people, the church of Ephesus, they are doing things for the Lord. You know, ang sabi ng Panginoon, look at in verse number 2, I know thy words, I know thy words. Alam ng Panginoon ang ginagawa natin. Alam ng Panginoon ang gawain ng church. Alam ng Panginoon ang lahat ng ating labor. I know thy words, thy labor, thy patience. And the uh, cats that bear them that are evil, a lot of people, you know, which are the people mine. Di ba? Kung nagkasalan yung iba, sabi mo, Allah, makasalanan. Yun nagsasabi, hindi pang salanan. <laughs> Tingnan mo yung heart nila. And, uh, and how the cats that bear them that which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not and has found them liars. There are also false teachers and false prophets here. In this period, while they're preaching the gospel, look at this situation, tingnan, tingnan mo yung, yung background for it. Yung background ng Ephesus, this is a desirable city. This is the place where they manufactured images. And yung pastor, because this is the place of Diana. They are idol worshippers. This is also a great city concerning about merchants and business. Mapera tong si ano na to, ang lugar na to, when you talk about Ephesus. This is the reason why you will see here, and has born and has patience for my name's sake. Ginagawa ninyo ang lahat ng mga gawain para sa akin, for my name's sake. Gamit pa nga eh, yung pangalan ng Panginoon eh. Diba? Andun pa yung pangalan ng Panginoon, ginagawa niyo to sa pangalan ng Panginoon. And has labored, and has not fainted. You never stop doing these things. Nevertheless, may nakita ang Panginoon. Anong nakita ng Panginoon Pastor? Nevertheless, in verse number 4, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. Wala na ang pag-ibig sa iyong puso. Ang question sa church, sa atin nga, look at the application. Ginagawa ba natin ang gawain dahil mahal natin ang Panginoon? The motive must be I'm doing this because I love the Lord. 
I am committed to this cause because I love the Lord. I give to the offering because I love the Lord. I will sold for Jesus Christ because I love the Lord. I obey the commandment of the Lord because I love the Lord. I will sold for Jesus Christ because I love the Lord. I pray for that because I love the Lord. I devote myself to the word of God because I love the Lord. Not just your task, not just your responsibility, because you love the Lord. Yun ang kailangan natin, pag-ibig. Ang question ng Panginoon, where is your love? The reason why the Lord chided these people, the Lord rebuked them, pinagalitan sila ng Panginoon, you have abandoned the love you have. Thank you. 